walk us through some of these inflation numbers that we got out of Tokyo, cooling down sharply in February. What does this mean for the BOJ? Uh, well, actually, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't reduce the pressure that much because uh, if you go into the figures, you find that uh, 1.1 percentage point uh, is uh, based on government subsidies that are pushing down the inflation figure. So this, it's a, it's a, a, a peaking of the headline figure, but it's uh, based on a suppression of uh, inflation by the government. If you look at the underlying trend, it's still getting stronger. Without these government subsidies, uh, inflation would be about 4.5%. Uh, so the, the pressure is still there, and we've seen that this morning in uh, you know another rise in uh, government bond yields above the BOJ's uh, cap. Um, so the the pressure is still there. However, in terms of next week's meeting, it's the uh, last meeting of uh, Kuroda after his 10 years of massive stimulus. And uh, the economists, well, according to the survey that you cited, 94% uh, of them think there will be no change next week. Mm. So what can we <laughs> expect then out of Kazuo What uh, what's, What are people betting on here? But certainly we've seen what's been going on with credit markets and uh, they're just selling debt like crazy because they are really doing that, thinking that these days of ultra-loose monetary policy are numbered for sure. Yeah, well, I mean, the expectations are for for change, change uh, in the in the pipeline. Now, if we <clears throat> concentrate on what Ueda was saying in those hearings, a lot of it sounded uh, very familiar. Some familiar lines from the BOJ, you know, easing is appropriate. The economy needs support. We must have uh, wages going up to support sustainable uh, inflation. All the familiar lines that could have come out of uh, uh, Kuroda's mouth. Uh, so that suggests mm -hmm. that Ueda is not going to uh, enter the BOJ in a hail of fireworks like Kuroda did. Uh, and that's why I think economists are now thinking maybe June is the month when he moves. And uh, if you see in the survey, two thirds uh, now thinking change will come by then. And uh, of the changes that they're looking at, uh, you know, uh, the end of YCC is certainly among uh, the options economists see. Uh, just one further point, even if the BOJ scraps YCC, they will keep buying bonds. You bet on it.